Christy and I started this landscaping project last summer and well, we didn't get it finished. We did get some of the rocks taken out then. But now the Catrille's here with her friend Brandon. <laughs> it's a good time for us to get this done. Maybe we'll even get it done for Mother's Day. Let's get started. Dad, when you started this channel, I was told I wouldn't have to shovel anything anymore. Good point. Uh, well, maybe I wasn't uh, knowledgeable. I don't think it was a flat out lie. I think I just didn't know. I would have preferred to have got all rock. But as it turns out, I got under there. I got more soil than rock, I think, at least on part of it. Boy, that's really dirt mixed there, isn't it, Katrina? I know. In fact, I've just come up with a new invention. Um, it's in my line of whatever manual labor I'm doing right now, inventions. Yeah. And it's called the uh, rock and dirt separator. Yeah. So we talked about that one last time we yeah. did one of these videos, is how would we do that? Okay, what's the deal on this? I think those are piles of dirt that we pulled out there with the backhoe. Backhoe when I took it. Remember, I was running the backhoe. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's your fault. That's it. Yep. <laughs> Otherwise, it would have been my fault. Yeah. Well, I I didn't do as near as good a job with the backhoe as you would have. Oh, yeah, right. If you I had mean, a way to clean this, you could probably reuse a lot of this as some river rock on top. Yeah, it's the same river rock. It's just cleaning it. You know, one way is a trommel. We need a trommel like Gold Rush. Yeah. You know. Only we would want to keep the rock and let the dirt go. So what's your vision? What did you want done here? Something overall? easy to take care of. Mm -hmm. And probably perennials so I don't have to plant every year. Okay. With some river rock. With some river rock. So you want the plants, instead of like having dirt or mulch, you want rock basically around it. Yes, I don't want to have to mulch every year. I'm hoping that with the landscape fabric and preen or whatever the pre-emergent stuff that and maybe a little bit of uh, Roundup every once in a while. Sure, yeah. Not on the plants. Yeah. But that I can keep it low maintenance. Sounds like a good plan. And you've done a good job helping me pick out flowers. I've or tried my plants. hardest. Yes. So thank you very much. You're very welcome. And I would tell you what she picked out, but I don't remember the names. I don't remember the names so either. I'll I have to remember. keep the little sticks. Oh, the sticks? That, you know, come in them. Yeah. So I can, I can list the plants. You have a power rake, and I'm not here doing the manual rake. I don't know if I could squeeze it in here. Yeah, I'm not sure where it fit. Might be worth a try. You know, Dad, on our early landscaping projects, you always told me that landscaping fabric was no fun. I hate landscaping fabric, and your mom bought some for this. You noticed I didn't go along on that trip. Yeah, I, I didn't either, and I came home and the landscaping fabric was just sitting in the kitchen on display. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. How would you have done it? Uh, no landscaping fabric and lots of prayer. The guy at the, uh, where we bought the plants though, gave us a clue. He yeah. said put pre, what was it called? Pre-emergence. Pre 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 or pre-emergence herbicide, yeah. Underneath the fabric. Put your fabric down, and then after you get your rock down, put it again and water it in. Catrill, it was really nice of you to bring some extra help with you. I know, I think the best tip that uh, we could have gotten would be to bring somebody who calls themselves a professional shoveler. I don't know if I would say that. I think there's a lot of rock there. Yeah, I think it needs a few more scoops. So what's your level of rock acceptability? Uh, it's probably determined by you. Well, I think our standards are getting lower and lower the more we yeah. shovel. When we're all done, we want it to be level, basically, with the, and then maybe sloped up a little bit so that right here, it's right up to about here. Mm-hmm, okay. In order to do that, we're gonna have to take some of this dirt out after we get the rocks out. Yep. But I would like to use this dirt for soil purposes, not for rock yep. purposes. So that's what's dictating why we need to separate the rock from the soil. So we've got a loose plan here. We 
went to the local greenhouse which had a very very nice selection of all sorts of perennials we could have ever wanted and we did a walkthrough we saw what we liked what mom liked specifically and then we kind of uh, drew a little sketch of what the garden kind of looks like and um, made a list of what we might want in it and compared that with what they had and I think we have about 20 plants right now between the two gardens and then mom has some plants of a name that I keep forgetting that she's going to split see them yeah that so basically the idea is that we will have kind of more flowers around this area that leads up to our front door um, and then we're also going to have some uh, smaller rocks, kind of like landscape looking rocks that um, they've accumulated over several projects. And then as it kind of goes out, we're going to get less plants and more rocks, like more big rocks. Um, and this is just to kind of minimize the amount of plant maintenance um, and stuff like that and kind of increase the area that can easily be round up. So that's the idea. Um, I'm going to lay out the plants now. Um, and see kind of what they look like and then it sounds like we'll get some extra dirt uh, humped up around them and hopefully get them planted. Woohoo! Hey this just in. Yeah it's Mother's Day today but I'm already thinking about Father's Day. I just found out about this deal that I'm able to offer on the new Isotunes Ultra Calm Aware. Yeah quite a name huh? Well, they've got the hook over the ear, sort of like a lot of the pros. They're still true wireless, so they don't, they don't have any, any wired model. But what they have is a microphone. So when I put it in my ear, slide it over like this, I have the microphone here. One of the problems that we've had with the, um, the wireless ones ourselves, the ones that are true wireless, is that this microphone that's up here is a long way from your mouth when you're when you're on a tractor or you know using a saw or something like that so by having this microphone this extended microphone it's going to make it a lot easier to have a telephone call while you're in a, a loud environment in fact i've done the same thing i have i have taken mics and and you know attached them to some of the other equipment that i have in order for our audio and our cameras to work and it works really well so getting the mic close to your mouth really helps when you're in a noisy background environment like your daughter actually working while you're talking and I don't know if you're working or if Brandon's the only one working. Well, I was trying, but you skipped right on to Father's Day and actually while you weren't thinking about Mother's Day, I got mom a pair of noise canceling headphones so she doesn't have to listen to you. Hopefully isotunes. They were. They come in this, this pouch here. The other side's just like you would expect. All the different sizes of foamy earpieces so that it'll fit your ear just right. And also on this special deal, it's 20% off. The code is listed right here. Honestly, I would tell you the code, but I'm not sure what the code is right now. It's a special limited time offer, one week only, okay? And there's two other models that are listed at this 20% off, and they are my favorite two models. One of them is the Isotune Free 2.0, um, and I really like it a lot just because the case is real small. I can carry it in my pocket. It's just really handy, long battery life. So I love the free 2.0. And the other model that's on the 20% off on our special is the Link 2.0 over the ear model with the extended microphone. You notice I was already bragging about that. I really like the extended microphone for phone calls. Check them out within the next week until May the 20th, 20% off coupon code listed here. I'm afraid that may be a Johnny Five rock. Yeah, we'll see. But we'll see. And I don't have my rear ballast on right now either. I may have to get some. I think I used Johnny Five to put it in here, but I don't remember where it was. I may have got it from back in the woods somewhere and brought it around here. Oh, 
Come on, Johnny three. Woo, you get light in the back end. Go, Johnny, go. I don't have rear ballast on, and I should have. But I do have filled rear tires, a lot of wheel weights. Whoa! It wasn't enough. <laughs> let me let me put it back down here, and I'll go get some rear ballast. That's a big load. I'm really surprised Johnny Three could lift it. Well, hopefully this is enough ballast. It's what I had on the heavy hitch. It's uh, eight seventy pounders, and I think. Two or three forties. What do I got? Three forty twos. It's enough to keep the rear end on the ground. I don't know that it's, you know, enough, but I think I'll go around the septic. That big and back air. Yep. Mostly for the challenge, just to see if you could do it. There you go. That's a good choice. I like that one. You don't like the ones I picked? No, I like the blue ones better than the red ones. All right. Whatever. It is Mother's Day, though, so we get whichever rocks you want. Oh, OK. I like that one, too. That little guy right there? Toss him up on there. I really don't like those big X's that I have to put in, but there's no tractor for this part, Kristen. I not. know, we need a tractor. How are we doing, Brandon? I think we're doing pretty good. Now this thing is supposed to be able to handle rock or any kind of rock as long as it's fairly smooth. Well, what we were wanting here was river rock anyway, so, well, we're gonna give it a try. I didn't put the chute on this time, number one, because it's pretty heavy, number two, I wasn't close enough. We have all that rock and everything else. It's too close to be able to dump it directly in. So I, I was thinking I could catch it with the bucket here. Now the guy dumped it kind of in the middle of the bed. So that's the reason it's taking a long time to get up here. I don't intend to get a full bucket here. I want just a, oh, I'm not even a quarter of a bucket probably. And I want to try to direct it then to where we want actually want to put it. If I had a full bucket, I think I would destroy the, uh, flowers that we just planted when I dumped it. I need my ISO tune. Maybe I kind of just dump it right here as far as I can. I don't know. I don't think I can reach behind that flower, do you? I don't think so. What do you guys think? I could do a little bit bigger of a bucket load, I think. I'm trying to be careful. Gonna be enough. Four twenty. We'll see if uh, we have enough rock, and if maybe we can still get down and get another load if we need to. There he goes. It's a good thing the place is close by. Good work, guys. Is that about all of it? Yep, except for what's along the edges here. I'll try to rake it in. Perfect. You know, there's a lot of different kinds of Mother's Day gifts, and I really think this one is perfect for Christy this year. Now, other years, there might be other stuff she would want, but she was really wanted this landscaping improved, and. 
So I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. But also a Mother's Day gift was to have Katrina come visit and bring Brandon with her. Yeah, we're, we're pretty excited about that. You need me to move, guys? Yeah, I think we're ready for the next section. You were right, this is a great Mother's Day present. Yeah. I've wanted this done for a long time. So. Thank you all. You're very welcome. How do you want it situated? I want this rock. Oh, I thought it went on the end. You need to turn it. So far, it feels happy with that. Can I let it down further without tearing up any plants? Come forward just a little bit. Okay, now you're good. Where's the next one go? The next one would be that guy. Hey guys, you gotta move. You gotta move. I know, usually I want you around, but right now I don't. Right now I don't want you around. The only time. Yeah, thanks. Okay. I don't think we could have done that with the little tracker. No, I don't think so. It's That looks really nice. I'm going to have trouble turning loose of it. Can I turn loose? It's okay. Okay. I would push it a little bit that way, maybe. But what do you think? Yeah, why not? Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That looks so good. Don't you think? I'm glad you like it. A little more. Very nice. Uh, maybe one. 90 degrees more. That's good, that's good right there. That's good. Ooh, now the big one. I don't think I'll be able to pick this up with the grapple. With the grapple. Am I off the ground? Uh, about an inch. Oh, okay. This is the angle you want, right? Well, I yep. can move, I can scoot the angle if I, just see if, make sure I don't touch that board, and get that all messed up. Okay. How about left and right, Katrina? Um, If you could come a little bit this way. That's about yeah. perfect. Is that as far as I can go? No. Uh, you got, you can no, come a little no, no. farther. I need to go a little farther? Yeah. Yeah, come a little farther. Yeah, you guys can, whoops. Oh, that's fine. I that's didn't do that on purpose. Right where we wanted it. Yeah, exactly. In fact, I didn't touch that at all. It just kind of turned loose. That's all right. I think you want to angle a little bit more. Like that? Yeah, I think you're good. You're good. Katrilla, I think maybe we needed a little bit bigger rock here for Christy and I. Well, I could have fit a bench into the plan, but uh, I wasn't told that that was on the wish list. No. You should know with me that a, that a chair somewhere needs to be part of the plan. Well, I tried to build in a cheeseburger joint, but <laughs> that was too big. Well, I think we did good for your mom this time. Yes, thank I you very so. much. A wonderful it, Mother's Day gift. Does it look like what you wanted it to look like? It's better than what I probably would have accomplished myself. 
Now I'm I, I'm hoping some of these flowers here uh, make it perk up, but I yeah. think they will. I mean, we've we've watered them here, and and the ones on the other end are already perking up. So yeah. they've been through a lot today. Katril, uh, it's great to have you and Brandon on the video. Again, it's been a long time. Yeah, good to be back. Where are you guys now? I'm in downtown DC. And I'm, I'm up in Baltimore, Maryland. And you're still working with a company that's kind of partnered here with Purdue, right? Yeah, I work for an Ohio-based company called uh, Spectral Energies. Oh, okay. And we do uh, laser research, DOD research. So if you can dream it, we can do it. Really high speed cameras. Very fast. Millions of frames per second. That's incredible. Shooting two inch shells through water droplets. Yeah. But that's for another episode, uh, another channel, I think. I think so too. Yeah. Hey, to all you mothers out there, we all wish you happy Mother's Day. Take care of your youngins because they grow up too fast. I kind of missed the height part of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry, that's my fault. Hope you guys have enjoyed this and we thank you for watching. We'll see you next time on Tractor, Tractor time, time with Tim. Tim. For you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. That'll do it. Yeah, because I'm about to fall off the rock. <laughs> <laughs> I, I even got the last part in. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. I thought, oh no. We forgot to tell it. Yeah. It's a bad life. It's a terrible life. Yeah. It's a kitty's life. Oh, sorry. Grab a shovel, though. Yeah. Can you help? You know, one rock at a time in your mouth, putting it in the bucket, that would help.